I've been working with the missions committees since 2004 and have served on the board for the last six years. Uh, it's been really fun uh, to serve on the missions board because I've gotten to see firsthand all of the various missions opportunities that there are that go on behind the scenes. Uh, a lot of people don't realize that we've got people working in their homes on a daily basis embroidering baptismal napkins or knitting for uh, various um, recipients for, uh, for shawls and blankets and, and that sort of thing. So uh, there's a lot of exciting things happening that a lot of people don't know about unless you become involved. But I have to say that that working with Haiti has been eye-opening and that, that just sort of fell in my lap and so I've been um, part of the, the group that's responsible for sending shipments to Haiti every year and in the process I've gotten to know who these kids are, what their birthdays are, and, and uh, the various issues that um, that organization faces. Uh, I'd like to talk a little bit about our Red Bag program that we have on the third Sunday of every month. Uh, we have some wonderful volunteers that come in and sort all of the donations that the members bring in on the third Sunday. And the reason that the donations have to be sorted is we give a lot of that food to our backpack program, but we also give to various agencies in the city of Appleton. Every Wednesday, we have volunteers that come and we have adopted 49 children from Huntley School that are at risk for going hungry on the weekends. And we have three women that shop for the food we have seven or eight people that come on Wednesday afternoon and pack the food bags. And then on Friday, we have more volunteers that deliver the food bags to Huntley School so the children have them to take home for the weekend. And what we get put in the back bags is we put enough food for them to have breakfast, lunch, and supper on Saturday and Sunday. Emergency shelter is another thing that Faith Lutheran Church has been doing for many, many years. But in the last five years, we have actually been not only going down with, again, wonderful volunteers from our church and uh, cooking the meal, but we have also been providing all the food for the meal. Uh, we, that way they get something really special um, once a month. And uh, we go down and we cook the food from scratch and we serve it and then we clean up. The Board of Human Care does outreach into the community, people in need, uh, and that's something that really speaks to my heart. Christmas was an eye-opener for me this year. This was my first time actually working on the Christmas distribution of both gifts and, and food, and we had a lot of what we termed God incidences and people that we found out about that needed help. Uh, people who aren't plugged into all the agencies um, had lost a job, uh, or had illness that took up all their money. They didn't know how they were going to make a Christmas meal or even provide presents for their children. So it was a very humbling experience for me as these people came in and tears were shed and um, they, some of these people had never been helped before and they were just really touched by the fact that someone cared enough to help them out and they were able to provide a little bit better Christmas for their family. And so that was really, really cool.